Looks can be deceiving, and this is no ordinary flashlight. We'll show you some features that may shock, break, and even hurt you. That's all in today's product review. So I was on the internet the other day looking for a flashlight and I came across this. It's called the Diablo Tactical Flashlight from Guard Dog Security. It's pretty bright at 160 lumens and a very unique feature is that it's also a concealed stun gun. One other feature worth mentioning that a lot of other reviews don't cover is that it also breaks glass which I'll show you later on in this review. In the box it comes with a set of instructions and just goes over some of the do's and don'ts but it has some very useful information if you actually take the time to read it. Other than that, it comes with a wall charger, the flashlight, and a carrying case with a belt loop. The build is pretty sturdy. The actual flashlight itself is pretty light and very compact. The button you see here is to use the taser feature, and the switch is to operate the light. It's rechargeable, so you just need to plug it into the wall. Connect the charger to the back of your flashlight, and you know when it's charging when a single light appears. The manual recommends to leave it charging for 8 to 10 hours before you use it. The first thing I wanted to find out was if this flashlight was bright enough. So I went into my garage and the flashlight is the only light source and I thought it held up pretty nicely. The taser feature is pretty cool and packs a 4.5 million volt shock. It looks like it's able to sustain its shock for a long period of time. I haven't held the button down to see exactly how long but it seems to be long enough. So why would anyone want to buy a flashlight taser? Well let's say you're working late in the office and you head out to your car. There's nothing more scary sometimes than walking out into a dark parking lot all alone and suddenly your car feels like you've parked it so far away. A good habit to get into would be to carry your flashlight with you when walking out. So when you get that weird feeling that you're being watched and oh my gosh, some creepy guy pops out of nowhere, you can calmly look at him and be like, eh, you don't scare me. Because little do they know you're ready to bust a cap if you have to. So at this point, you're a little creeped out, and you decide to pick up the pace a little bit, and you go to open your door, and oh my gosh, he's back! How did he get there so quick? So since you have your flashlight, you need to prepare for the worst, and if this guy comes any closer, he's going to receive the shock of his life. Let's see if he's still there. Yep. <laughs> what you're going to want to do next is flip the flashlight switch into taser mode, rotate the Diablo so you see the taser button, and uh-oh, here he comes. Next, you want to let him know that you are not going to be his next victim. Get into your car and make your escape, while he's still wondering what the heck just happened. This taser is not intended to be used as a weapon, but more as a way to escape in case you run into a situation like this. So how strong is this taser? I would say it's strong enough to scare away anyone who wants to try to attack you. My friend and I decided to put this taser to the test to see if we could hang. Oh my gosh, okay. There you go. Ah! <laughs> Notice the difference in the sound the taser makes when it comes in contact with your skin. It's hard to explain what it feels like, but it's not a very pleasant feeling. Next up, my friend Joey went for a side shot, and he was a little reluctant. Are you ready? Not really. Here we go. Here we go. The sound was definitely a lot louder with him, and that may be because of the placement of the taser, but we didn't want to do it again to see. A cool thing we noticed afterwards was it left a mark where we were tased. This photo is about five days old from when we actually got tasered. It could be useful to law enforcement if you know exactly where the taser came in contact with the person and can still identify them. They should have marks that look similar to these. And last but not least, the emergency glass breaker. A common use for this would be if you're ever trapped in your car and you need to get out, or you need to get someone else out. It took me about three tries to finally break the window, but I might have been holding the flashlight wrong. Once broken, it's pretty easy to push out the rest of the glass with the front of the light. The glass break did scuff up the tip of the flashlight a bit, but it didn't break it and it was still usable. And if you're ever put into a situation where the taser fails, not that it would, but if it does, you can use the tip of the flashlight to protect yourself and bash somebody's face in. That may sound kind of violent, but at least you'll walk away unharmed. So if you're in the market of a new flashlight, I would definitely look into buying one of these. It's such an added bonus to have a flashlight with all these cool features. If you like this review, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more reviews or would like to see me do something else with this flashlight, leave a comment down below or follow me on Twitter. To see the full video of us actually getting tased, click the annotation on the screen or the link down below. Thanks for watching. Looks can be deceiving, and this is no ordinary flashlight. We'll show you some features that may shock, break, and even hurt you. That's all in today's product review. So 
I was on the internet the other day looking for a flashlight and I came across this. It's called the Diablo Tactical Flashlight from Guard Dog Security. It's pretty